G'day, I'm here at the Chapel Gallery. This is a gallery that's been started by St George Christian School and it's based in the heritage listed original church that was here on the property. And as part of the inaugural exhibition, uh, we've worked with 333 Art Projects and their Young Curators Program. So some of our Year 11 students have gone to Ewan McLeod's studio and they have curated and decided which projects are going to be based in this gallery. One of my favourite pieces in this exhibition is the centrepiece. An incredible piece that draws the eye as you're looking into these shadowy figures approaching up the stairs. It's actually based on the New Zealand Mining Tunnel Company. It was 400 men from New Zealand in World War I. And basically, they, having worked in the mines, were called up to travel to the Western Front and take part in tunnelling. So it initially was part of uh, what we call counter mining. The idea was you would dig a trench and then a tunnel underneath where the enemy trenches were and you would pack that with explosives and then kind of use a whole bunch of sandbags to really make sure that the, the impact of the explosion is felt at the site and doesn't travel back up the tunnel. And then you would explode that in the hope of, of making the trenches of the enemy collapse. It was incredibly dangerous. At one point, the, the New Zealanders were that good at, at what was dangerous work. Uh, it was estimated that they would dig at roughly three times the speed of the Germans who were trying to do the same thing. That was incredibly important because obviously they're trying to, to dig first and to explode first. McLeod says, in the Somme, the killing was on such a huge industrial scale, and yet just over 20 years later, it happened again. Visiting the Western Front just made me really sad. A lot of this work is a metaphor for mental digging. What's really buried under these places? It's about the relationship between our emotional states and what we choose to repress. In the large-scale painting, you can see the shadowy figures lurch through these tunnels licked by fire. They're actually walking up towards the fire. Perhaps a reference to when soldiers took shelter under these enemy trenches. Just like myself, who had a great uncle killed at Gallipoli, MacLeod's great uncle was killed at the Battle of Fleurs with the New Zealand Rifle Brigade. He talks about reading his letters and just being completely confounded by what they're saying. He says this, When you have a personal connection to a place, it brings it home. But when I read his letters, they were horrible. At night, they would go over and kill as many Germans as they could. And he seemed not to question any of that. It's a fascinating tale from World War I uh, of bravery and courage. And at one time, at Arras, which is where this is based on, uh, they found a whole bunch of these really massive caverns that were made from limestone that had been dug up to, to help build cathedrals in the local area. And they realized they could actually expand these and connect them. And at one point there was enough room for 25,000 men to be stationed underground, safe from barrages. And so they, they, they actually got these uh, troops in there and, and for one of the major offensives in the Somme, they, they even had a field hospital down underground. And so, Tens of thousands of men hid there until the offensive and then came up out of the ground and took part in one of these battles. One of these battles, the Battle of Fells, is actually where Ewan MacLeod's relative uh, was killed. And so this is quite a personal painting for him. He, he talks about, we can see not just uh, the darkness, but it's almost the mental anguish of those who are underground in the darkness. Uh, they, they, they had to have things like little metal cages with canaries in them because you'd hit bad gas as you were down there and, and carbon monoxide uh, and you would, you would uh, die. So it was incredibly difficult work, important work for the Allied offensive and for the Allied campaign. Uh, and it happened from New Zealand and eventually some Australians in different areas as well.